Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to be revisiting one of my favourite techniques which is wrap and turn short rows. Short rows have so many uses in our knitting and you name something that can be knit, hats, shawls, sweaters, socks, and there is a pattern out there to make those items which involves short rows. Today I want to take a look at wrap and turn short rows because it's one of the most commonly used short row techniques and it's also one of my personal favorite techniques. I'm using a stockinette swatch today you can use wrap and turn short rows for basically any stitch pattern that you might be working but the stitch pattern might make a difference as to whether or not you actually want to pick up the wraps later on and hide them at the wrong side of your work because sometimes with some stitch patterns you won't actually really noticeably see the wraps but because stockinette is such a smooth and neat stitch pattern you really obviously do see the wraps if you don't pick them up so we'll take a look at a few different ways that you can pick up the wraps and hide them so we'll first take a look at how to wrap stitches on the right side of our work i'm just knitting to the point where my pattern says to w ampersand t which stands for wrap and turn or your pattern might also just say the words wrap and turn all right we'll pretend it's just here I'm going to leave my yarn where it is and I'm going to slip this next stitch which is going to be the wrap stitch from my left hand needle to my right hand needle. I'm going to do that purl wise so I'm going through the front loop of the stitch and that ensures that I'm not twisting the stitch as I move it. Now this yarn that's at the back is going to be brought around to the front of my work going under the right hand needle. So I'm going to come around and if you're a continental knitter It'll look slightly different, but you will do the same thing in that you come under the needle and then you want to have the yarn at the front of your work as if you're going to purl the next stitch. We will now slip this stitch back to our left hand needle. So remembering this is the stitch being wrapped and we'll do it purlwise again. So once again, we're not twisting that stitch. We'll just move it back to the left hand needle and now our yarn is caught around the base of that stitch. The final thing to finish the wrapping part of this step is to bring our working yarn to the back of our work. And there we have a wrap stitch. You'll see that the yarn is traveling around the base of that stitch and it makes it look like it's wearing a little scarf or a little shawl. And now for the turn part, we simply turn our work. So the wrap part of the wrap and turn is actually putting that yarn around the base of the stitch and then the turn is literally just turning your work so that now we can work across the wrong side. So I am now purling and my yarn is where it needs to be to purl. It's at the front. So we're just going to purl now and you saw how I just purled that stitch. It was just as a normal purl stitch but it basically completes wrapping that stitch in the same go. So we're just going to purl now to where our pattern says to once again wrap and turn. Okay, we'll pretend it's just here. And I'm going to wrap this stitch. So I leave my working yarn at the front of my work this time. And I slip the next stitch purl wise. So making sure I'm not twisting it. And now this time I'm going to move my working yarn to the back of the work. Once again, though, going under the right hand needle. So it comes around like this. Once again, we will slip this stitch back to the left hand needle and purl wise. So it's not being twisted. Then we will bring our working yarn to the front of our work. And then we will turn our work. So that was the wrap. And there's the turn. And there we go, that is how you work the wraps and turns. Super simple. I'll just show you on each side one more time. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this next stitch. So slip the next stitch purlwise to the right hand needle. Bring your working yarn to the front of the work. Slip that stitch back to the left hand needle bring your working yarn to the back of your work and then turn 
and now we just purl across these stitches as normal. The next thing we're going to take a look at is how to pick up our wraps. I just want to mention that you might find that in your pattern you are picking up wraps and also making wraps in the same row or round. Generally short rows are just referred to as rows. Uh, so that might mean that you pick up a wrap and then you work a few more stitches and then you work a wrap and then turn your work. That's just another way to build short rows. I'm going to do all my wraps first and then go back and pick them up but just pay attention to what your pattern is asking you to do all right so i'm going to work my next wrap stitch here yarn stays at the front of the work slip the next stitch purl wise to the right hand needle yarn goes to the back of work going under the right hand needle slip that stitch purl wise back to the left hand needle bring yarn to the front and then turn our work so there are our wrap stitches. I've got one here and here. And down this end, I've got one here and here. So you can see how the wraps are visible in stockinette. And that's why the next thing we're going to do is pick them up and hide them at the back of our work. So to pick up a wrap on the right side, we're going to knit to the wrap stitch. And then we're going to use our right hand needle tip to pick up the wrap first. So we're going through it as if we're knitting it. And then we're also going to go through the stitch that has been wrapped with our right hand needle. So it's going through two loops like that. I'll just show you again. Pick up the wrap first. So you're sort of scooping it up and then go knit wise through the stitch that is wrapped. And now we're going to knit those two loops together. So wrap the working yarn around the right hand needle as if to knit and then draw the loop on the right hand needle through both of those loops on the left hand needle and now you're going to push both of those loops off the left hand needle like so and you can sort of see how it's popped the wrap to the wrong side of our work let's do that again to this next wrap stitch so pick up the wrap scooping it up with the right hand needle then insert the right hand needle into the stitch that's been wrapped. Wrap the working yarn around the right hand needle as if to knit normally. And then draw the loop on the right hand needle through both loops on the left hand needle. And then push those loops off the left hand needle. Now I'm going to turn and show you how to pick up the wraps on the pearl side. So I'm just slipping that first stitch and then I'll work across to those wraps. And it is quite easy to tell where your wrap stitches are. Generally a pattern will just say to work to the wrap stitch without giving you an exact stitch count. But it is quite easy to tell where they are. You can either flip your work around to the right side and then you can quite obviously see where the wrap is. Or you'll also often see a little bit of a gap because the wrap is sort of cinching the wrap stitch closer to the adjacent stitch and you'll end up with a little gap like you see here. So that's another way to identify where your wrap stitches are. All right, on the wrong side, we're going to pick up our wraps from the other side of our fabric. So I'm coming in as if to purl and I'm picking up the part of the wrap which is actually sitting on the right side of our work. Now I'm actually going to pop that loop on the left hand needle like that. And now I'm just going to purl those two loops together. So it's the stitch that was wrapped and the wrap itself. Insert the needle purl wise through both of those loops and then just purl them together as if you were working a purl two together. There we go. And then I have another wrap stitch here. So I'll show you that again. Pick up the part of the wrap that's sitting at the right side of the work and pop the wrap on the left hand needle and then just purl those two loops together. Okay, so there are all our completed wrap and turn short rows. You can see that they're hidden on the right side. If we flip our work over, you can sort of see them on the wrong side. But the important thing is that our right side looks nice and neat and there are no gaps between each of the turning points of our wraps. 
The last thing I want to show you is how to deal with a wrap that was created on the wrong side of your work but when you need to work it on the right side of your work. So previously if we made a wrap on the right side it was also picked up and worked on the right side. If we made it on the wrong side it was picked up and worked when the wrong side was facing us. It's just ever so slightly different if you need to pick up a wrap that was worked on the wrong side when the right side is once again facing you. This would be most applicable when you're working in the round and your last short row was created on the wrong side. Then you flipped around to the right side and you worked an entire round to then come back to that short row. So there are lots of different ways that you can deal with those sorts of wraps. I just want to show you my favorite way, which is a super easy way to tackle them. Okay, I'm pretending now like I'm working in the round and I have some wraps here that were created when the wrong side of my work was facing me, but now I'm going to need to pick them up and work them together with the wrap stitches while the right side is facing me. So I've seen this demonstrated in different ways, but how I like to pick up these wraps is to use the same method that I've been using all along to pick up the right side wrap. So I just scoop up the wrap with my right hand needle and then insert the right hand needle as well through the wrap stitch. What you'll notice though is that this wrap is a lot tighter than the other wraps I've been working with. So what I'll do is knit the wrap stitch first so I only draw the loop through the stitch itself and then I'll use my left hand needle tip to pick up that wrap and draw it up and over the loop on my right hand needle and that pushes that wrap to the wrong side of my work. And then you can just knit the following stitches as normal. So I'll show you that again because it's a little hard to describe. So we're going to scoop up the wrap with our right hand needle tip. Sorry, let's get them focused. Scoop up the wrap, the wrap with the right hand needle tip and then insert the right hand needle through the wrap stitch as well doing that knitwise. Then I'm going to knit just the actual wrap stitch. So I draw the loop on the right hand needle only through that stitch and then I slide that loop off the left hand needle which then frees up the left hand needle tip to come around, insert it through the front of the wrap and then pull that wrap up and off the right hand needle. Just do that one more time. Pick up the wrap with the right hand needle, then insert the right hand needle through the wrap stitch, wrap the yarn around, around the needle as if to knit, and then slip that stitch off the left hand needle, then pick up the wrap and pull it up and off the needle. So that will hide your wraps at the wrong side of your work. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, do leave them below.